You uh, was one of your specialities. Well, paranoid psychosis. I used to deal more with the uh, depressions and the neural dis psychotherapy in group analysis. I can't judge myself as a psychiatrist. No, no I know how much I don't know. <laughs> yes, that. yes. No, but people paying in a way paying obscure tribute to you were saying that here is a man who could have used his tremendous intelligence skills in psychiatry to put people's minds at rest, his people's minds at rest, i.e. cure their paranoia. But in fact, in all these ways, he used his skills to whip up their feelings, to increase their paranoia and not to cure it. That's impossible to do. That's another kind of paranoia, as if psychiatrists are going, um, are manipulating a, a common mind of people. This is impossible to do. Uh, I used to, to work with small groups, up to 12 people, and uh, only with those people who wanted to be treated. You can't treat the whole nation. The history has treated our nation. Nobody could persuade our people that somebody is going to kill them while they have very fresh memories about Second World War. And I do not use any skillfulness of my mind from psychiatry or from, from long term uh, training in psychoanalysis and group analysis. Simply, it, it absolutely doesn't work or you can't apply it to people who are not uh, willing to be treated. Tell me, what about, you wrote a poem about uh, Gavrilo uh, Princip, who, uh, the Serb who triggered off uh, the First World War. Yeah. Does it ever worry you, having written that poem, that you might be the Serb who triggers off the Third World War? Well, he didn't want to trigger the uh, uh, First World War. He wanted to eliminate uh, the emperor who conquered his own country. And uh, he has done it the same day, very same day, 28th of June, when um, Milos Obilic has killed uh, a Turkish sultan six centuries ago, before. So I have written this poem much uh, early and much more before the war because this guy was poet too and he was a nationalist as people used to say and that uh, Archbishop uh, 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 Ferdinand uh, of, of, from Austria used to come to humiliate the Serbs to make exercises on the very same day where we have lost our own empire six centuries ago and this small guy decided to kill him, not to trigger the First World War, but to kill the emperor who conquered his own country. He is something like, not really like Robin Hood, but the kind of national hero. No, but part two was, uh, do you worry that you might be the Serb who triggers off World War Three? This is not, not up to me. I am obliged to do my best to protect my people. You have to take care about uh, Third World War. We have a third world war. This is our third world war. Mm. We are to the war up to death. If someone is uh, concerned about escalation, then neighboring countries and uh, European countries should be concerned about the escalation. We have the escalation. We are dying every day. And we are trying to get out of Muslim domination and make our own homes forever. So if the third world war occurs because we are fighting for our freedom, then we are not responsible for the World War. A quote here from uh, one of your favorite uh, poets, Walt Whitman, Leaves of Grass, where he said, As to you, death, and you, bitter hug of mortality, it is idle to try to alarm me. Do you fear death? Does it, does it alarm you? Well, my death uh, not really. I am deeply religious man and uh, I feel somehow that I have to undergo everything that is given to me. In that terms, I feel as a religious man, of course, I fear some, sometimes whether, the, whether I have been doing right things during my life, but this is something that we all fear. And what, as we sit here with well, now three and a bit days to go to the meeting of the contact group in London. What, what would be your message to them? Well, I would uh, like to tell
tell them that I think we have chances for the peace. But they have to accept the reality. And the reality is that there are three Bosnians. There have been three Bosnians before the war. This war is not waged for the division of Bosnia, but for the unification of Bosnia, which is not uh, possible. Uh, our objective is quite realistic. We want to protect our own territories and to protect our own state that has been formed three and a half years ago. Muslims have quite unrealistic objective to conquer the whole Bosnia. Croats and Serbs would not accept it. And the contact group should approach all three sides equally, treat them equally, and treat reality as a first. As a psychiatrist, I may say, the reality has to be taken into account. And the reality is that um, we have already done what we have been accepting during the Lisbon conference. We have formed three states here. Now we should stop the war. And you see, we have seen on the map that uh, our corrections of that map are much less than the Muslims want. Muslims want the whole Bosnia. And the international community should demand from the contact group to achieve something rather than to talk to each other and to talk to the Muslim side only. But when you talk about three Bosnias, um, does that mean you actually would like the Muslim Croat Federation to be separate? Well, they would like uh, to have separate states. It has been imposed, this solution about federation, it has been imposed from Washington. But if they want to stay in federation, we do not oppose it. This is their own sovereign right to do whatever they want with their own states. But we would like to be recognized in our own sovereign right to do whatever we want. And of course, there are a lot of other pressures at the moment. I mean, I know when I'm in Washington that there's great pressure in in Congress to, you know, lift the arms embargo against the Bosnian Muslims. Um, and that, a lot of them see as a positive step. Uh, how dangerous, how, how bad would that news be for you? Arms embargo does not exist. Muslims are as well armed as the Serbs. It hasn't been from the beginning, but they have been more numerous than the Serbs, so there has been some strategic balance between Serbian armament and the Muslim uh, infantry number. Now they are very, very well armed because we can't use our own aviation. And uh, uh, there is strategic balance still. We are less numerous than Croats and Muslims together, but our soldiers are uh, very trained and uh, our officers are very capable. Uh, this balance may guarantee this war to last for the decades unless we do something about it. Right, but so you, you, your message though is to say we don't care. Lift the arms embargo to the Muslims if you like. We don't care. Well, uh, if they lift arms embargo they would not scare us because we have seen very good armament in, a, in Muslim hands. But what would happen is this war is going to spread beyond Bosnian, so-called Bosnian borders and uh, fights are going to uh, intensify <coughs> and... Uh, Who would be brought in first? Serbia? Or well, Russia? Well, uh, no matter who, maybe Albania and Macedonia, maybe Macedonians and Albanians in Macedonia, Turkey and Greece. Then, in that, in that case, it may be triggering Third World War. Mm. Or France. Strong, strong words from France. Too. Well, the strong words, but not strong interests here. The strong interests are of the nations living here. But Turkey and uh, Greece have very tense issues. But so you wouldn't rule out in that sense, as you just said, the Third World War element, if, if the thing suddenly escalated. Yeah. I, uh, I think uh, th this is not the time yet for the Third World War. But if we last this war a few years, then it may be a time for... Because antagonisms between different nations may arise. We don't know what's going to happen in Russia. We don't know what's going to happen between uh, Armenia and Azerbaijan, between Turkey and Greece. Simply this is big risk for the rest of, of, of the world, not for us, because we are already fighting. So how many years more do you give this war? Or how far away do you think peace is? Uh, it all depends on the international community. If the international community is ready to end this war, we can end it within a few weeks. 
But if they encourage Muslims to go on with fights and not to recognize the reality, not to accept that they can't be masters of Bosnia, they can't own the whole Bosnia, then we may fight for the decades. Tomorrow, the fourth chapter in the epic series, Battlefield, gets underway as Hitler's struggle for victory against the Russians is stifled in the Battle of Stalingrad. Tomorrow at 9 on WVIZ. with David Frost is a production of David Paradine Television and WETA, which are solely responsible for its content. Talking with David Frost is made possible by ITT Corporation, the ITT companies and our family of employees around the world. ITT, for 75 years, the one to follow. Video cassettes of this program can be purchased for educational use only by calling 1-800-328-PBS-1. Home video sales are not available through this offer. This is PBS. Transmission of today's programs is made possible by members of TV25 and the following. The energy makers at the Illuminating Company. The people who deliver the power to grow with. Electricity, the power of the future. The Cleveland Law Firm of Spangenberg, Shibley, Tracy, Lancione, and Liber. Consumer advocate attorneys for more than a generation. This is WVIZ-TV in Cleveland, Ohio, operating under a license granted to the Educational Television Association of Metropolitan Cleveland by the Federal Communications Commission. WVIZ broadcasts on channel 25, 536 to 542 megahertz, with 2.7 million watts effective radiated power. Using studio to transmitter microwave relay KRN41, WVIZ also operates translator stations W64AK in Sheffield Township on channel 64, 770 to 776 megahertz, with 14,690 watts effective radiated power. W66AK in Gates Mills on channel 66, 782 to 788 megahertz, with 112 watts effective radiated power. And W67AL in Thompson on channel 67, 788 to 794 megahertz with an effective radiated power of 44,556 watts. An affiliate of the Public Broadcasting Service, WVIZ-TV strives to operate in the public interest and is dedicated to the pursuit of excellence. Mm -hmm.